Hi, this is Dr. Bunkus of Orange County Plastic Surgery in Newport Beach, California, and Salisbury Plastic Surgery in Worcester, Massachusetts. Uh, today we are removing some 30-year-old breast implants, and as you can see, they're extremely encapsulated. They're rock hard, the breast is distorted, and we're going to uh, raise the nipples a little bit. Uh, they were drooping. We're going to raise her nipples up to here, tighten up the uh, breast envelope, and get rid of all of the scar tissue in this 30-year-old implant. First thing we're going to do is make an incision around your realist for that part of your realist we're going to keep. get rid of the extra skin inside this pocket and then we're going to go down and take out the old implant. And you can see we've removed the excess skin and now we're going to raise little skin flaps so that we can pull it together after we've taken out the old implant and the scar tissue. We have made the incision at the bottom down to the implant. You can see this is all scar tissue. And, and it's going to be very difficult to section, but we're going to dissect all the way around this bowl and try to get this scar tissue uh, to come out in one piece. Because I can feel it's very, very calcified. There's going to be a lot of uh, sharp little fragments in there, and I just can't believe this implant's going to be alive. You can see how difficult this section is because we're trying not to get into the implant. This is called an on-block excision of the capsule. I'm going to do a little blunt section with my finger. Mm -hmm. As far as it goes, you get some firm stuff and you got to go back and start cutting. The important thing is I haven't gotten into this capsule. If you do, it makes an enormous mess. Mm -hmm. And it takes you a couple hours just to clean that up. So I'm going to try to deliver this baby. And then we will... Can you hold this up? And I will just be able to see it a little bit better. You can see this implant. 30 years ago it was placed above the muscle. And that's also something we'd like to avoid if we can. see how rock hard this implant is. These calcifications show up after the implant has been in about 20 years, not sooner than that. And that's why we recommend that the implants be changed every 20 years. Uh, you'll see we're having a difficult time opening this and we're doing this um, on the back table after the operation just to see what's in there. These are not our surgical gloves. Uh, we don't want to get this mess into the field. But this is a very, very thick calcified capsule. It's like an eggshell. And what we're doing is opening it up so we can see the implant. Surprisingly, her implant was intact. Uh, we um, damaged a little bit uh, while cutting it open. But the implant itself was not broken prior to this operation. Okay, as you can see, um, we pulled the flaps together here. And the opening that we have for the arelis is way, way bigger than the arelis. So we're gonna, go ahead and hold this. Uh, we put a purse string suture around here and we're gonna tie this to the size of our smallest little template, which is 38 millimeters. And once we've tied this, um, that'll hold the skin uh, in a smaller hole. It'll leave some puckers around the edges, but as the months go by, those puckers smooth out. And this way, we'll have a closure without a whole lot of tension on the arelis. That's how it's going to look.
we're back today. This is the day after her on-block capsulectomy and mastopexy. You can see that the hard fullness that she had at the top of her breast is gone. She has a much better shape. It will take about four to six months for these scars to soften and the breast to round out uh, to look its best. Um, but she already looks better than she did. And this is an example of another gal at six months after I did a similar procedure on her a few years ago.